Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coast of Shell here, Dogs to Born, Bob Bill for Theme Parks, and welcome to a Theme Park Reaction video. Confused there with the intro. Uh, but this is about the UK Theme Park Awards 2021. The results are in. We're about to reveal the award winners. So I'm going to be reacting live to the award winners. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to name this YouTube video. Check out the social media links and the Google Forms link in the description down below where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. If it's possible, next year, it'd be really nice to win a UK Theme Park Award, please. Uh, but for now, let's have a look at the 2021 UK Theme Park Awards. Pull out your red carpet, it's go time. There it is, the UK Theme Park logo. Hello, I'm Annie Davies, and welcome to the Hi, UK Annie. Theme Park Awards 2021. <laughs> Now, for the second year, the British public were invited to vote for their favourite theme parks in these national awards. We'll be recognising some of the best rides and attractions, shows and events, as well as the UK theme parks offering the best customer service and value. This is our own BAFTA was this. Categories this year. Over 170,000 votes were cast. That's so a lot. Models are all 170,000 a year. Brilliant. Really good. Expert judges, who we'll be hearing from later. Paul Kelly, Chief Executive of the British Association of Leisure Parks, Piers and Attractions. Andy Hine, Chairman of the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain. Rachel Reed, Director and Co-Founder of Blue Loop. Mark Locker, Founder and CEO of Attractions IO. Lawrence Roots, Editor of Theme Parks UK. And Justin Garvanovich, Editor of First Drop. All of these people, by the way, I would love to interview on this There's channel. So if they're watching this, please get in touch. Category. So, let's get started. Let's go. The nominees for Best New Attraction. Best New Attraction. Owls Auto Academy at Poulton's Park, Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thought Park, Croc Drop at Chessington, Cyclonet at Poulton's Park, Flight of the Skyline, Legoland, Gangster Granny at Alton Towers, Grand Fix Races at Gulliver's Valley, Spinning Hi, Racer I'm at Fancy Island, Island. Those are a couple of bits. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce the winners for Best New Attraction. So basically, they do bronze award, silver award, gold so award. Bronze, bronze goes to Gangster Granny, the ride at Alton Towers, uh, based on. David I'm going to give Williams each Spencer, winner their own applause. Uh, the only, it's the only nice thing I can do, really. The main <laughs> as they attempt the greatest heist in the history of the world to steal the crown. It's a great ride, by the way. I loved it when I rode it. It's a I, I really loved it. It was a great dark ride. Silver goes to Flight of the Skyline at Legoland Windsor. The UK's first I like that. Theater. I've heard some good reviews from that. Um, obviously, it's a flying theatre. You know, I think it could be a great, it's a great attraction from the sounds of it. So, can't wait to go down to Windsor at some point in the future and try that out because it sounds amazing. For a, you know, it's the UK's first flying theatre, so it sounds amazing. And in first position, gold goes to Storm Chaser. I had a feeling it was going to be Storm Chaser. I don't know why I had a feeling, but um, yeah, Max Spinning Coaster was one of the standout attractions in the UK overall, not just in terms of new attractions, but overall anyway. So I had a feeling it was going to be Storm Chaser. I, I thought it was going to be between Storm Chaser and uh, Gangster Granny. It was between those two for me. For best theme park for families. The nominees. So the nominees are Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Chessington World Adventures, Drayton Manor, Flamingo Land, Legoland Windsor, Holton's Park, and Fort Park. For families, really? <laughs> but there's that's some great family attractions. I'm delighted to announce the winners for best theme park for families. Bronze goes to Legoland Windsor. Legoland Windsor, well done. Goes to Fulton Park. And Gold goes to a theme park that's very close to my heart. The first theme park I ever visited, Fulton Towers. Yes, well done, Alton Towers. Unlucky Poultons and Legoland and the rest of the parks. But well done. In the small category. The small theme parks for families. The best small theme parks for families. So Adventure Island, Creeley, Diggerland, Fancy Island, Flambards, Gulliver's, Lightwater Valley, Oakwood. Pleasurewood Hills and Twin Lakes are the nominees. I'm Kieran Carrington, CEO of Semnock Solutions. I'm delighted to Hello, Kieran, from Semnock Solutions. Shout out to them. The 
bronze award. Well done, Fancy Island. Well done, Pleasurewood Hills. Gulliver's, well done. Well done. We've got the new one in Rotherham as well. Brilliant. Best theme park for toddlers. Let's have a look at the nominees. I don't know. I don't think I'll know many of these parts, but I might be pleasantly surprised. Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh no, Creeley, Drayton Manor, uh, Drusilla's Park, Gulliver's, Legoland, Halton's Park, Petit Manor Adventure, Adventure Park, and Sun Sundown Adventure. I've heard a lot about. Hello, my name is Paul Kelly from the British Association of Leisure. Big up Paul Kelly, British Association of Leisure Parks, Piers and Attractions. To, again, any of these guys want to interview on the channel, please get in touch. Uh, emails in the Here's about the section of the channel. So bronze goes to Drayton Manor. Silver, Alton Towers. Paulton's Park. Park. Well done. The nominees for best theme best park, theme park for, thrills. for thrills. Come on. That's my cup of tea, that is. Adventure Island, Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Drayton Manor, Fantasy Island, Flint Bingo Land. Oakwood Theme Park and Thought Park Resort. Hello, I'm Mark Locker, founder and CEO of Attractions I They got Mark Locker. Delighted to announce the winners for the category of Best Theme Park for Thrills. With bronze, we have Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Silver goes to Alton Towers. And gold goes to Thought Park. Yeah, I had a feeling that Thought Park was going to take the thrill category. Best classic, Best classic coaster. coaster. Jeez, there is a lot. Jeez, Louise, there is a lot. So, Grand National, Megaphobia, Nemesis, Oblivion, Roller Coaster at Great Yama, Scenic Railway, Steeplechase, Big Dipper, Big One, and the Ultimate. Let's see who wins this one. Hi, my name's Andy Hine, Chairman. Man like Andy. Have you ever seen the Alton Towers documentary? I might actually do a reaction series to the Alton Towers documentary, the 1998 one. I might do that. Never know. Same with the Pleasure Beach one. Uh, let's see. Top three. Come on. Hey, the big one. Hashtag big one monorail. Grand National. Black Pleasure Beach, Beach scoops two awards. Bronze and silver. Can they scoop the gold? Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. Yes. The beast itself. There was rumours of that overhaul, weren't there? Let's see how true that is at the end of this season. Best Family Coaster. Let's have a look at the nominees. So the nominees are Accelerator, Dragon's Fury, Express, Flight of the Pterosaur, Nickelodeon Streak, Spinball Wizard, The Dragon, Treetops, Vampire, and Wicker Man. Feed the flames. The Wicker Man. Never at all. Marcus from the European Coaster Club, outside Storm Chaser, the best new attraction. Already an award winner. Bronze goes to. Well done, Paltons. Again, another award. Vampire, classic. Yes, feed the flames. Love it. Wicker Man wins the award. Award winning coaster. Best Interactive Ride. Duel, Fire Academy, Lego City Driving School, Lego Ninjago The Ride, Reg Arrow Sky Force, Root and Toot and Target Trail, Sheriff Showdown, Spun Pulse, Plus Bash, Tomb Blaster, and Ziggy's Blast Quest. Which is a really theme of the coaster they have. And the winners? And the winners? Tomb Blaster. Tomb Blaster. Well done, Tomb Blaster. New soundtrack and everything. Jewel, okay, it's had some problems, but it's good to see it win an award and Ninjago the Ride. I've heard some good reviews from Ninjago the Ride, so pretty good. These are the nominees for Best Food and Drink. Oh, here we go. Nominees for Best Food and Drink Adventure Island, Alton Towers, Buffalo Pleasure Beach, Kessington, Creeley, Drayton Manor, Leila Windsor, Holtz Park, Thorpe Park, and Westminster Safari Park. I've got to tell you, Alton Towers has some decent food. Decent food, but the prices sometimes. Holtz Park gets bronze. Blackpool Pleasure Beach, there's some Gold, decent food items. Alton Towers. Alton Towers. Fair enough. Fair enough. The nominees for Best Merchandise. One of this year's new categories. Oh. <laughs> best Merchandise. One of the new categories this year. Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Chessington, Creeley, Diggerland, Drayton Manor, Flamingoland, Leyland Windsor, Polton Park, Thorpe Park, 
Let's see who wins. And the winners are Bronze, Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park. Silver, gets Bronze. Welcome Pleasure Beach. Beach. Alton Towers gets best merchandise. They do have some good merchandise. The Sorry, a good range as well. Oh, here we go. Best live entertainment. A live dinosaur encounter. A magical pirate adventure. Hot ice. Return to Skeleton Bay. Pirates of Zanzibar. Puppet shows. Dupo Valley. Sea Lions Blast. Shiraganon's Time Traveling Starship. Team Nick. And the Wild Adventure Show. Should be interesting. Well done, Bolton's again. Another reward. Well done to Legoland. Hot ice. Hot ice. It's got to be. It's a classic. Best new event was a particularly close run category. Oh, and a close one. So the nominees for best new event, Adventure Pride, Coastal Cabana, Fairground Frights, Mardi Gras, Oktoberfest, 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 Part 5, Spring, Spring Beast and Wilderfest. Very interesting indeed. Could you imagine if it was Octoberfest, Octoberfest, Octoberfest? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Octoberfest, Thought Park, Bronze, Mardi Gras, Alton Towers, Silver, and Octoberfest, Alton Towers gets the gold. The, the, a final applause for everyone. Brilliant event. Uh, brilliant event. They look, look, look amazing. Best Halloween event, Brick or Treat, Fairground Frights, Fear Island, Fright Fantastic, Fright Nights, Happy Halloween, Halloween, Pleasure with Chills, Scare Fest, and Extreme Screen Park. Come on. Extreme Screen Park at Twin Lakes. Silver, Bright Nights at Thorpe Park. Oh, interesting. Gold, Scarefest. It's got to be. It's got to be. In another new category this year, Ooh. the nominees for Best Animal Experience are... Let's have a look. African Village, Straight Man and Zoo, Giraffe Feed, Lima Land, Little Africa... Lorikeet Lagoon, Lost River Ride, Tiger Rock, Trail of the Kings, and Safari Ride into that. And the winners Bronze, Lost River Ride at Flamingo Land. Silver, Tiger Rock at Chessington World of Adventures. Gold, Safari Ride into Africa. Safari. It's a, it is a decent ride. I thought Tiger Rock was going to take it to be fair. The nominees for Best Social Media Engagement presented. Oh, interesting. Let's have a look. Alton Towers, Blackpool, Pleasure Beach, Chessington, Drayton Manor, Fancy Island, Flamingo Land, Legoland, Holton's Park, Pleasurewood Hills, Thorpe Park. There is a bit of, you know, social media banter between all the parts, well, some of the parts at least. I'm Tom from Pure Glow Media, here to announce the results from the best social media. Let's have a look. Who's got the best social media engagement? So here goes. Bronze goes to Drayton Manor. Silver oh, well done. Thorpe Park. Yeah. And gold goes to. Oh, I was thinking it was going to be Alton Towers. The nominees for best customer service. Oh, this one's an interesting one. Genesis. Let's have a look. Adventure Island, Alton Towers, Chessington, Creeley, Drayton Manor, Legoland Windsor, Polton's Park, Pleasurewood Hills, Sundown Adventure and Thorpe Park. Interesting. With the winners. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Harding of Genesis Limited. Shout out to Venice and Paul Harding. Solution provider. And if you don't know of us or want to know more about us, please visit www.venice.co.uk. I'm very please pleased to, to have sponsored and been invited to present the awards to the top three. And that's in the best customer service category. Without further ado, let me take you through the three companies that um, have won the gold, silver and bronze. Let's go for it. Position and actually a favourite of my children, I hasten to add. Um, they're a lot older now, by the way. Um, Adventure Island. So very Adventure popular. Island. Let's get the bronze. Hold up. Um, perspective. It's Poulton's Park. Well done, Poulton's. And the top award goes to Alton Towers. Well done, Alton Towers. Well done to all. And obviously very those that didn't even make the top three, um, it's very clear that they've been fierce competition with this particular um, category. Thank you very much for your time. Very first category. Day, I, 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 comment down below the customer service at theme parks. Um, what do you? Right, how do you rate customer you service at theme parks? Because I think they're all right. The nominees for best value. Best value: Adventure Island, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, No Alton Towers, Creeley, Diggerland, Drayton Manor, 
Fantasy Island, Flamingoland, Lightwater Valley, Oakwood, and Pulse Park. No Alton Towers, no Thorpe Park, Park, no Chessington. Interesting. Oh, I'm Lawrence Reeks, the editor of Theme Parks UK. Should be interesting. And I'm delighted to be presenting the winners in the best value category at the UK Theme Park Awards 2021. Bronze goes to Drayton Manor. Silver goes to Fulton's Park. And gold goes to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yes, go on Blackpool. Big up Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We've now got three categories, especially for theme park fans. Oh. This nominees for Blogger of the Year. This is where I want to be in the future. Cleotas Coasters, Coastal on the Beach, Cooker Ixon and Coasters, Diary of Roller Coaster Girl, Ginger Freckle Girl, Lift Dills and Thrills, Pots, Guys and Glitter, Theme Park Dive, Theme Park is on the Eat and Thrill Nation. These fan awards, this is where I want to get one, hopefully. Bronze, Cupcakes and Coasters. Well done, Cupcakes and Coasters. Theme Park Guide. Well done, Theme Park Guide. Well done, theme park guide. Well done, Thrill Nation. Well done. The nominees for this is the one I want to win. In the future, I want to win YouTuber of the Year. Coaster Bar, Coaster Crazy, Coaster GN, Dig Digital Dan, Partsville, Pleasure Beach Experience, Scrubby Loops, The Jack Stilk Stone, Theme Park Worldwide, and Top Thrill Tourist. Interesting category. Here are the winners. Bronze, The Jack Silk Stone. Well done, Jack. Big up, Jack. Good mate of mine. Well done, Pleasure Beach Experience. I kind of knew TPW was going to uh, do it and win the award. Big up Sean Sambro. Met him at Alton Towers a couple of months ago. Great guy. Uh, nominees here for Instagram, Attraction Source, Cuts, Hates and Coasters, First Drop Floor, uh, Photography, Roller Coaster Rachel, Roller Coaster Daily, Skyline Coasters, Tats and Coasters, Thrill Riders, Thrill Riders Photography, and TPI Photography. These are the winners. Bronze, Cupcakes and Coasters. Again, another bronze. Well done. Roller Coaster Rachel. Well done. Gold, Thrill Riders. Well done, Thrill Riders. Congratulations. And finally, the nominees for Theme Park of the Year, presented by Storyland Studios. Let's have a look. Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Chessington, Drayton Manor, Fantasy Island, Flamingo Land, Gulliver's, Legoland Windsor, Polton Park and Thorpe Park. I well, think Alton Towers will snatch this. I think it'll be Alton Towers first, Blackpool Very second, Thorpe Park third. That's my order here. here. I think it's Alton Towers, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Thorpe Park. Could be wrong. I mean, Polton's Park could be in there. It could be. In fact, no, I'm going to go Alton Towers, Polton's Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So in bronze position, we have Legoland Windsor. Oh, okay. Legoland, that's good. Well done. Legoland Windsor. Uh, there are decent parks with that. I laughed about when I was a kid, but I'm sure it's it's got a lot different there. Polton's Park second. Kind of predicted that. Polton's Park look amazing. I'd love to get down there to start bouncing to try that out at some point. It looks brilliant. I think Gold's Alton Towers. Yes, it's Alton Towers. Of course it, of course it is. Been there year after year after year, apart from COVID year. And yeah, it's just fantastic. It really, really is. Um, yeah, fantastic. Really good. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. Thanks again to everyone that voted, our expert judges and sponsors. Guten Tag! <laughs> I love how, I love the whole park celebrations. Brother Beaver! Is that a hint? Bradley Beaver, and I think the other one's Baby Bubbles. Is that a hint? Is that a hint? Beaver Creek, 2022, is that a hint? <laughs> I'm probably digging way too deep. Well done, Fancy Island, by the way. Way! Paul Sands. Big thank you message from them. <laughs> Is this on? Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Try it, Manor, outside the brand new Wave Swinger attraction. Pleasure Wood Hills, man like Woody. So happy it's been out there to tell us all his friends he's won a UK theme park award. 
thank you so much for the votes. We can't wait to see you all again here at Pleasure Hill very soon. Thank you. On behalf of everyone here at Alton Towers. Man, that Alton Towers Resort, big up. Wait. Congratulations to all of this year's nominees and winners. The UK Theme Park Awards will return in 2022. Thank you for watching and goodbye. What a video. What a video. Loved it. Really did. Absolutely loved it. Really loved it. Um, yeah, it was just fantastic. It really was. Uh, for the full list of nominees and winners, go to the www.uktheparkawards.com. But there we go, guys. That is it. Watching the UK Theme Park Awards 2021. Uh, very nice to see all the nominees and winners there. It'd be really nice to get to YouTuber of the Year for next year's awards. Please, please, fingers crossed. Let's get on that goal now. Uh, but, yeah, really, really great stuff over there. And, um... Yeah, just all oh, fantastic. Really, really good. And, um, yeah, congratulations to all the nominees, all the winners. Congratulations to every single one of you. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Chell, Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a award-tastic day. And the BAFTAs has closed.